And another thing too, I don't know, if, I don't know if Fifty Puff would fuck with Puff, but uh, uh, no, we earned State of Mercy for live on TV. You know what I'm saying? Oh hell, man, you can talk. Yeah, you can uh, talk yeah. about that shit. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know how this shit work up here, man. I'm St. Louis, man. Yeah, yeah, I thought you was going to talk about you, you oh, signed no. with some rock or some shit like oh, that. No, 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 no. You no, know, no, it's, no. It's, 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 you either drinking effing or you drinking some rock. Yeah. When I'm you drinking with that one paying me. Hey, nigga, nigga, me too, nigga. I don't give a fuck, man. Yeah. I'm, just, like, I'm just saying, 50, I need a check. Yeah. 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 50, I need a check too. Yeah, hook a nigga up, bro. Yeah. Uh, nah, but uh, we. Nigga, we'll be some rock boy, not this bitch. Yeah. In a minute, he finna cross over on you, 50, man. Just trying to make sure this nigga wasn't behind me. <laughs> what up, this Loose Cannon Slim, and you watching This Is 50.com. State of emergency, motherfucker. Bo. Yo, yo, Loose Cannon Slim, man. What's happening, baby? What's up, baby? Man, hey, it's about that time again. That's right. It's about that time again. State of emergency. State of emergency. Oh, State man. of emergency. Part four. That's right. One, two, three, four. That's right. They say four times is a charm. Well, they don't say that I say that. <laughs> the first time a charm, but if you say it for it, then cool. Yeah, man. Yo, what, what is this uh, place? The, 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 the venue, what is it called? This big uh, ass Civic Center. Uh, Schaefer's Arena. Schaefer's Arena. Schaefer's Arena. This, this is legendary in St. Louis. That's right, yeah. Like, who didn't all play there before? Like, you know, you, you know when you talk about the Apollo. Right. You got to talk about James Brown, Michael Jackson, Jackie Wilson, Janet the Jackson, OJ. Everybody yeah, 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 everybody. Everybody go there, yeah. Yeah. And I brung everybody to that motherfucker. Word? Yes, sir. So before the state of emergency, you was booking um, shows over at the at Schaefer's? Yeah. Well, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that was my first show, but I was doing like celebrity basketball games and that shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was my first show, though. But where, what even influenced you to even put on a, a celebrity basketball game? What is that all about? Like, like I, I never understood. Well, you was raising money to do what? I be giving back. You know what I'm saying? Well, I just, you know, I be just trying to come up with different things mm -hmm. for people in St. Louis have a good mm -hmm. time. What did you take from St. Louis? What did I take? What did you take the way you had to give back? Oh, no, nah, you know, I was one of the, the bad kids. You know what I'm saying? So, when, you know, when I got out, I said I wanted to go back and get everybody up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I do it with the um, events and all that. Mm. Yeah. And so just to get people caught up, man, how did you make it out? What, what did you get into, man? Um, where, where, where did you hit your lick at? Well, shit, I'm a hustler, so I did some of everything. You know what I'm saying? I uh, made beats, promoted parties, managed artists. I did everything. I do everything. Like, my first thing to just get me all the way out was just, like, doing NBA All-Star Weekend, like, mm -hmm. celebrity parties down there and shit, and then I just came up. Mm -hmm. I was actually in Cincinnati All-Star Weekend. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I went to Adrian Broner fight. Oh, where? Yeah. yeah Adrian Broner, your man, too? Yeah. You, do you, also, you fuck with all the boxers like that. Yeah. You know, I'm, I just started a boxing company. Get the fuck yeah, out of here. Company. Yeah, we finna switch it over. That's a later conversation, though. We can say a little bit now, but, yeah, we finna do, uh, I'm finna mix the entertainment with the fights and all that. Yeah. I'm on some shit, bro. You know me, so you know I'm on some shit. Okay. All right, well, shit, man. Back to state of emergency, man. Uh -huh. All right, now this is something I, I got a chance to witness it for myself last year and whatnot. It was off the chain. Yes, sir. I, I, I really, really enjoyed myself. The energy inside the building was crazy. You know, the people was happy as fuck, man. Mm -hmm. What I don't understand, mm -hmm. $3.14. That's, that's how much it costs. Yeah, that's the, the original price. Like I, um, like I said, with State of Emergency, I do a thing every year to make it affordable for like, you know, all the poor people that can't afford to come and you know, for hospitals and stuff, just to give back to my city so you know what I'm saying, they can spend some of the money doing other things like getting their car washed and you know what I'm saying, sometimes you know, these concerts be high. Yeah. You know and like shit, you go see Beyonce, that's rent. Mm -hmm. you know I'm saying? Shout out to Beyonce though, cause I'm gonna book your ass too, Beyonce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know, like concert tickets start off like $80 and all that. So I was like, you know, I give back once a year to my city and you know what I'm saying? And I just bring all the celebrities that I do all the tours with, all the artists that I do all the tours with and just give them like this crazy concert. Like last year you was there, it was uh, Wayne, Chains, Jeezy, Gotti. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, last year I told them $7 to mm -hmm. get in. And I said, y'all trust me, pull up. They pulled up and that's what they got. And this year I told them I ain't gonna tell them nobody. And I said $3.14 and they, man, they broke the doors down to get them tickets, bro. Yes, they did. Yeah. That, that, that was pretty nuts, man. And you, the, when you when I tell you, you the man in your city. Like most niggas is not the man in their city. Appreciate it, appreciate you it. You know what I'm saying? They, they be famous everywhere else, but they can't get no love in the city. You uh, you walk down the street, man, you, I just swore 
that goddamn you didn't uh, get had five albums out already. <laughs> or yeah, yeah, you, you was you was in goddamn Think Like a Man Part Three or something. Yeah. You superstar out there, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, nah, they that, shout out to my city though. They actually do fuck with me tough. And I fuck with them back. That's why I do this show. So like this one right here, it's gonna be the the craziest one I ever did, ever. Mm. Like ever. I told them I'm gonna give y'all seven acts. For three dollars fourteen cents, like I said, they knocked the door down and get them, and I, well, I got the whole industry pulling up, mm. like for real, like, you know, like for real, for real. Can, can I, yo, I, I, I seen it with my own eye last year. I seen it with my own eye. <laughs> right. Now you gonna have the hottest niggas there too this year, right? Right. Of course. Can I, can I just take a couple of guesses and stuff? Cause I seen a little commercial. Let me know if my eye was playing tricks on me. All right. Gucci Mane. Meek Mill. Maybe. I'm like, I want to know. Who, I'm, I'm I know. I know. I want to see. I know. Get I name all the niggas I want to see. If I tell you, I'm telling them. Okay. Well, so, shit. Should I ask you after we get it to get nah, done? Just, I'm, I'm just all excited. Right, all right. Okay. Cool. Well, you definitely said some names of the people that's coming. How about that? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you did. Hey, I got one more. This is this. Is, man, you got to give me this. What's up? Is Remy Ma gonna be there this year? I don't know, man. Listen, man. I Bruh. just got in on the. Bruh. What's up? Bro, that, you know that'd be fucking crazy. Yeah, but see, I'm still trying to get Nikki, so I don't know. Like, I know how everybody listens. I think you might want to go with the rip. See, that's the rap side. I'm talking about the Slim side. You know, Slim will kill it. So it's like, I'm still trying to shoot my shot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. yeah I, I know how you get down. Yeah, you yeah. know, I'm letting the meat thing go all the way. If they don't get back together, because I ain't disrespectful. They, they ain't I'm, getting I'm back a, together. I'm, I'm just going to sure, that. But I, you know me. Yeah. I know you'll tell them Buddha shots up. <laughs> You Last year, Ashanti came out on stage with your ass, man. That was kind of crazy. Yeah, that was tight. They, they, yo, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. They, I, they I wasn't went expecting. crazy for that. I ain't gonna play. Yeah, they went crazy for that. Yeah, did, did you catch any flack after that, man? But from who? Did you ever, yeah, man, this shit from, from Nelly. Huh. Oh, how you and how you and Dog doing now? I mean, y'all on better better terms? We uh, we coexist. Like you know what I'm saying? Like people, like one thing about it. People uh, read into it way more than it is. You know what I'm saying? One time, like he was like my brother. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it was never like I want something to happen to him or violence or no shit like that. It's just that like we just learn how to coexist. Like I ain't seen the nigga in seven years. We stay in the same city, so it ain't no kind of feeling, no nothing. Mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? It just we need to stay out y'all business. Pretty yeah, much. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, that's just what I be saying. Cause I never, we never really talk about it, so it ain't no like it just it happened. It like it was just. A, a, a private fight that went public, but it's definitely over with to me. Word, 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 I can dig that. Now, he's been, this, this is gonna be number four. State uh -huh. of emergency. Right. Um, and what, what was the best one? What was the, what was the, the one that, uh, a moment? This one about to be the best one. But one of my favorite, oh, you wanna ask me what's my favorite one? Yeah, well, what, and, one and give me a moment ones. out of there. That was. Um, when, when Wayne walked out last year, mm -hmm. was one of the, uh, like, one of the biggest moments, like, cause I guess, like, you know, it was a, t um, it was a time Wayne was supposed to come mm -hmm. a couple of times and he never got to get there. And then like his tour kept skipping and shit like that. So when I finally brung him and then they got to see it, like it was white kids, everybody, they went nuts. So I yeah. was there, I saw oh, it. Oh yeah, you was there, you seen it. Part one, well, give me a moment out of there. Part one, Ross, Ross was on fire in part one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He had- uh, We don't care about that over here. But huh? yeah, we don't care about that over here though. All oh, right, right, right. Yeah, you, you you got to fit that right by your head. Hey man, listen man, I'm this just telling you, 50 better pull up to this one then. You have to call him, <laughs> shit. Shit, you hit him. Shit, he, be, uh, he, he should be right walking in, there. yeah, in a yeah, second. Nah, but, all right, cool. But he, shit, I got to keep it 100. <laughs> bottom line, bottom I got Bottom line, it. BMF was going crazy, and they went crazy. But then, Walker, man, Walker had, uh, what's the song? I fucked my money up. Nah, yeah. I, man, that group, he went in the crowd and everything, shit. It was crazy. Shout out to Walker, man. Shout out to Walker and Push T, two of the realest niggas I fuck with in the whole industry. You know what? I'll go with you on that. Yeah. I, I would definitely go yeah. with you on that. Yeah. Walker, like, man, listen, when I be trying to rap, like, I done tried everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm a hustler. You know what I'm saying? She's like, <laughs> you got I, it. I found You got it in the booth, bro. Yeah, I did a whole album, man. Gucci Man gave me songs. Uh, Let, me Let me have them over. Huh? Let me have them over. Where you go with that shit, man? You gonna do it in person, bro? Man, them shits was in 2011, man. Nigga, I'll take it. Pull it up on YouTube. I don't remember. They wasn't whack, though. You released all that? Yeah. It's a U.S. Santana, 
uh, Chains, this was, Chains was on fire. Well, he's still on fire, but like, you know, Chains came back and he was like, man, you gonna rap? I was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, them niggas gave me some shit too, then nobody gave me nothing with it. Mm -hmm. That's right, y'all. But now I found it though, I ain't trying to rap no more. It's more about making beats. Them motherfuckers hard. Now, I don't leave no money on the table, so them niggas gonna tell you, Slim gonna direct the video, he gonna make the beat, nigga, the shit, what we doing? Like, I'm getting the bread, like, I'm like, we, we doing verses? Like, I'm going to the hoods and get the niggas to get the verses, I do everything. Mm -hmm. Negotiate the sponsorships, endorsements. I ain't, man. I want all of it. The word. Now I seen you in the studio with the amigos and shit, man. And them niggas was recording some crazy shit. Did you produce that shit? Yeah. That we was at, what we were at Circle House mm -hmm. in yeah. Miami. Yeah. yeah. That um, that was uh, that song. It's, it's out now. That's DJ Stevie J. Live on Sunday. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He but how you even? But I don't even know. Like you, you go from promoting. And whatnot, then getting the niggas to listen to your beats, they even got damn makeup play. They like hard. That. They hard. What you think they gonna do? Like you know what I'm saying? That once I figured that out, that's what I said. Like I don't wanna get a game, bro. Fuck that. I got hard ass beats. That's what if you want one at Luke Cannon Slim on Instagram or wherever, goddamn. That shit make money though, dog. What? Them beats though. What? Listen, nope. They don't. Don't nobody make beats. Keep rapping. Get the fuck out of here. You're gonna have to put me on after this, man. Yeah, no, nah, I'm gonna um now, one thing I do know, right? You got a song in my computer. Yeah. Uh, 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 that you made with, you was gonna make with L.A. Foles. Right, right. Yeah, and I know that you can sing your ass off. That's what y'all don't know in the world, that this nigga is Jamie Foxx. Jack yeah, Driller, Jamie Foxx. He can actually really sing for real, like Eddie Kane Jr. really sang. Man, appreciate that. I need your props for that, cause I definitely heard it. And I'm like, who the fuck is this? And they was like, Jack. I was like, Jack who? They said, Jack Driller. I said, God damn. That day, come on, man. That, now, so you listen, you in the same boat as me, shit. You a hustler too. You whatever get it. TV show, comedian. I've seen you do everything. Whatever get it, man. See you shoot dice, everything. All that shit. <laughs> Let's talk about earlier the boxing situation. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that. I um, I'm from St. Louis, and uh, an a, a older guy that helped me out a lot, like mentally and helped me stay on track. His name Kevin Cunningham. He a boxing trainer. Mm -hmm. So this nigga trained minds and some more shit, but he kept you know what I'm saying. But he was the one who uh, took Devin Alexander and uh, Corey Springs to the, I mean, you know, get the title, man. He, he trained and all that shit. So, you know, he was telling me a long time ago, he was like, man, you need to get into the boxing, bro. It's like, you doing the parties and concerts and shit like that. Like, you need to do it, boom, boom. And then I already fucked with Floyd and them and seeing how niggas were getting the check. And like, you know, it ain't com it's common sense. Uh, he took me around, introduced me to the right people. I started my company and I got my first fight coming up uh, in like June. And I then, I'm gonna say this since we in New York, I'm a St. Louis nigga, right? About eight years ago, Zab Judah came mm -hmm. to St. Louis and beat the shit out of our whole city. You know what I'm saying? Cause he won, he beat Corey, right? Corey Spink. Mm -hmm. And he like, it was like a whole crazy thing. Nelly walked out, Zab and everything. Zab came in our house and fucked us up. So I'm saying, Zab, before you hang him up, I want my first fight to be you versus Devin, Devin Alexander. And I got two hundred thousand dollars right now waiting on you. Come pick it up. Hell yeah, that, that nigga gonna do that shit. He better do it. I'm telling you, we gonna bring it right back to the Safers Arena after three one four day after S O E four, and we gonna get our revenge. Now Zab, we know you a killer or was a killer. I don't know what you got left in the tank, man, but I know that you a gangster. You a lion. You a gangster, Zab. If you walk back in that house two times. Take the heart out of us again. Like, come on. And, and the fight got to go down in St. Louis. I do the boy Clays. I rent that motherfucker. Word. You actually, you know what though? Another thing. Look this up. I was the first nigga ever rapping the boy Clays. I was the first nigga ever performing the boy Clays. Get the fuck out of here. Before Jay Z, because the the first thing they did was a, a a fight night, and I walked Devin Alexander out to the ring. That's when I was rapping. That's what I'm saying. I'm cold. Yeah. You got a gym down there too? Palm West Palm Beach. A word? Yeah, Camp Cunningham. Look it up. Right on the beach. Right about 45 minutes from the There's a gym in St. Louis? No, in West Palm Beach. We're going to do all the Oh, I thought it was West in West Palm, Palm Beach. Beach in St. Yeah. Louis. I was like, oh, hell, no. They got to yeah, be Yeah, look, you got to look it up. Okay. Yeah, you we spent a lot good. of time in Miami. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's your second you know, home. That's my second home. But that's my third home. St. Louis is my first home and my second home. It's the city and the county. Niggas don't know where you at. Yeah. Word. I can dig it. I can dig it, man. Well, shit, this shit is going down in a major way, man. Well, how can people get a hold of them tickets, man? Uh, like, is it, is it, I know you're well, in the 314, show. We did uh, 3,140 of them. 
for $3.14, but now like we got some exclusive VIPs that you could buy for being late to the party, and you can go there and get them on Ticketmaster, and, uh, or if you're in St. Louis, it's Shaving Green and Box Office. Uh, yeah, yeah, so Revolt, man, they, they, so they, you doing it live, uh, State of Emergency on Revolt this year? Yeah, live on uh, Revolt. It's um, going to air at 7 o'clock. Mm, that's classic right there, man. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Man, is there anything you want to say to this is 50 dot Free LA foes, man. Y'all already know my little nigga about to oh, come home. Oh, he killed it last year, too. Yeah, he about to come home and we finna do our thing, man. And shout out to my city. So what about Lil St. Louis? He gonna be on the show this year? Uh, I don't know yet. I gotta call him. No worries. Yeah, I gotta call him. Uh -uh. You gonna make me tell the show. Like, I, you, uh, that's oh, like, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. okay, so, oh, so he, he might be me, there. Now, nah, Los St. Louis gonna be there. He <laughs> yeah, okay. fucked it up. You I'm want me to give you somebody else? No, no, nah, nah, that's it right there. Yeah, I, ain't only wanna, I don't want no beef with you. Migos gonna be there. There you go. You didn't fix you didn't did it. There you go. I think I need to be here, bro. Yeah, you do. Yeah, but I'm just saying, you didn't, all, you didn't fuck the shit up. I didn't have I apologize. Can yeah. we start over? All right. <laughs> like I always say, <laughs> you just can't say you're really something you gotta be, man. Loose cannon, Samir, man, we open, we out of here. Do I have something in mind? Y'all go to commercial. Don't kiss them hoes in the mouth unless you got to. Don't kiss them hoes in the mouth, period. <laughs> <laughs>